In this episode we are going to quickly get back to forms. Uh, we already did a couple of episodes with forms but I just want to show you one more thing because it has been asked for a lot. So the question was if we go to our contact form right now and uh, if you try to send that email we already did the validation so you get uh, hey how about your input your name the email field is required and you get those two messages uh, right down here so what we want to do now is when somebody sends a message and it doesn't pass validation then we want to have another uh, message right here that something went wrong and we couldn't send your email and uh, if the validation passes then we will add another message down here that says your email has been sent has been sent successfully and we will get back to you ASAP so this is what we are going to do in this episode So as it turns out to achieve what we want, uh, we actually got everything set up. All we need to do is write a little bit of HTML, a little bit of CSS and a little bit of JavaScript. Uh, the PHP code we won't touch because that's all good. It actually all works. We just have to put it all together to get those messages right here. So first of all, we are going to go to our plugins, watch, learn, and then we are going to go to our contact form, components, contact form, and then to default.htm. And now we want to set those messages right here. And I'm going to set those messages inside of a form. And I'm going to call them flash and error and success. You will see. So, okay, so we, this is our error message. And we can write in it something like Oops, something went wrong. Please check the required fields. Okay, so this is our error message. Now we are going to do our success message. So your message has been sent. Thank you. And I have a typo right here. Okay, so success. Okay, save this. Uh, if I go to my contact form, you can see that we already have those two messages right here. So I have, oops, something went wrong and your message has been sent, thank you. Okay, let's just style them a little bit. So I'm just going to go to my themes, Olympus, uh, assets, SAS, and I'm going to write this into my Ah, globals.scss it doesn't make much sense but I'm going to write it there okay so uh, we have those flash divs so let's just style them a little bit so we want to make the background of the error message uh, red and the background of the success message green Okay, let's just check it out. Okay, now it, it's compiled. Uh, also, we want to change the uh, color of the fonts to be white. And now we get those two messages. So this one is going to show when the email has been sent and this one when the email has been sent or the validation didn't pass. Okay, now uh, what we are going to do is we're actually going to set these uh, messages to be uh, display none or not to be shown until something happens. So display none for those. And also we are going to add another class to the messages, which is going to be class of active, which is going to display block. So... And we will need this a little bit later on when we write our jQuery code for it. So active is just going to be display block. Okay. Now, as you can see, those messages are gone now. And now uh, we just have to write some uh, jQuery to make all of this work. Of course, you can write your jQuery into your all app.js file. 
but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go to my layouts, go to my default layout and at the end. So it's important to do it below this line right here. So under all JS, uh, because all of our JS files are compiled and uh, including jQuery. So we need to uh, load jQuery before we do anything. So I'm going to write it at the end of that default.htm. But as I said, you can also add it to app.js and uh, do uh, your JavaScript or jQuery coding right there. So, but as for now, just for simplicity sake, we are going to do it at the end of this file. And now we are just going to set jQuery document ready. Okay, so we have our ready function. Now inside, inside that function, we are going to uh, do something to our contact form. So first of all, I'm just going to go to our contact form and edit a class called uh, contact form. Okay, so we added a, a class of contact form to our form so that we can reference it inside of jQuery. So what I'm gonna do now uh, is actually uh, say that when uh, our contact form doesn't validate and doesn't send the message, then we wanna display flash error. And when it does validate and it's successful, then we wanna display flash success. So to do that, I'm just going to do and now we, we define a method that uh, we get from October which is called Ajax error or Ajax success. So on Ajax error so when the Ajax errors out we want to remove uh, the active classes from all of our flash messages because we may have already some flash message uh, right there. So we want to remove them. In our case, we want to remove the class of active. So we want to hide those messages because if our flash div doesn't have the class of active, then it won't show on the page. Okay. And uh, then when we removed all of those, now we want to uh, just reference flash error message and edit a class of active. And that should be it for our error messages. Let's test this out. So I'm going to refresh this page. And now I'm just going to try to send the form. And as I try to send the form, of course, I get my usual messages right here. But I also get this, oops, something went wrong, please check the required fields. Okay, so let's do the same thing, but for successful messages. So if I copy this out, I'm not going to do them on Ajax error, but on Ajax success. Okay, and now we also remove all the, so why are, why are we removing this class on flash messages? So let's say, for example, that we did one thing wrong. First time we did it wrong. And then we have this message right here. So when we send the message again, we want to clear this field and instead of it display success message, if everything went all right. So uh, we remove the class of active and on flash success, we add class of active add class active, save this. And now uh, this actually isn't going to work because we don't have a set up uh, email system correctly. So to just make things really simple, I'm just going to go to config mail. And instead of using SMTP, Gmail or something like that, I'm just going to use the log driver, which is going to send, uh, uh, send my message to my log file and that should be it. So it won't actually send any messages, but it will uh, uh, 
allow us to demo this functionality. So I'm just going to go right here and say we need at least five characters for the name, then your email, and we can add something to the message. And now if I click send, as you can see, your message has been sent. Thank you. So this is the way you would add those messages to your contact forms or any other form that you would have on your October CMS site. Okay, so this has been it for this video. Uh, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. If you like the video, please like it. Uh, if you like the channel, you can maybe subscribe to it. Also, you can follow me on Facebook or on Twitter and ask me questions there. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode.